Good afternoon and welcome to episode number 622 at 622 if you're checking um, topic today is because well topic today is Valentine's Day survival do's and don'ts this is for tomorrow because tomorrow is Valentine's Day it's all about Valentine's Day this week of course so before I jump into that let me introduce myself so you know who I am what I'm about my name is Barry Selby I'm a best-selling author speaker and relationship attraction expert I help women and sometimes men create balance in love life and business I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine which led me to do this talk starting over two years ago called messages from the masculine inspiring your feminine heart and because tomorrow is valentine's day today's february 13th um i wanted to sort of put some things on the table and in fact i've been reposting some replays from last year where i talked about survival in a different vein so i thought well let's do one about survival because tomorrow for some people is a make or break day oh my god so i want to talk today about valentine's day um again episode 622 Valentine's Day survival do's and don'ts and this is going to apply to you well I should I should I'll speak to people things about I'll speak to some things about being single and about being in a relationship because there's some do's and don'ts on both sides of the fence so with that oh a quick reminder this is a Facebook live first in case you're watching this on YouTube so if I see an interaction with other people that's because they were on Facebook live first and then I uh, post this on YouTube so if you want to catch me live next time I'll give you a little information about that at the back end so let's jump in so first of all tomorrow's happy tomorrow's valentine's day so happy valentine's day for tomorrow in case you don't catch me tomorrow live when i go live about that day um and i also talked some talks this week i did i did actually a couple of expose talks one was about valentine's day for singles one was valentine's day for couples um and i want to re-emphasize some points today since the day is tomorrow that might give you some relief some safety and some survival skills. So let's jump into this, shall we? First of all, if you're single and you haven't found your person by tomorrow, don't commit suicide. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh about that. Some people take this very seriously, so I'm attempting to deflate some of that because for some people, Valentine's Day is the magical day when they're gonna meet their person. The imagination of Cupid running with a bow and arrow is gonna flick the arrow into them and somebody else and they'll be in love tomorrow. Don't hold your breath. I talked about this before many times because I'm adamant about this is Valentine's Day is not really the day you think it is it's a hallmark holiday so if you're putting all your eggs into the basket of meeting somebody perfect tomorrow I mean it might happen but it might happen just as much as any other day of the year so please don't put the pressure on yourself that you must meet somebody or your life is ended because you didn't find the right person by tomorrow okay let's start with that one so that's on the single side on the couple side I was gonna call the title of today's talk but it's now including the talk. If your relationship ends on Valentine's Day, dot, dot, dot. And the reason why I'm saying this is because some people, their Valentine's Day expression, their Valentine's Day um, gifting and connection, <laughs> I can say this nicely, is the deciding factor if they're going to stay in a relationship or not. There are people in a relationship that if the person they're with doesn't give them the right thing on Valentine's Day, doesn't do the right thing, even forgets about Valentine's Day, they think it's all over, they're gonna quit and leave the relationship. Well, first of all, again, as I said before, Valentine's Day is a hallmark holiday, meaning that if somebody forgets about Valentine's Day, it's not the end of the world. Now, if they forget your birthday or their anniversary, you need to have a conversation, but don't end the relationship on this. And this, is the, and this is something else that's leading to this point because if you make your relationship decisions based upon the Valentine's Day experience, you may be in the wrong relationship and you may be the wrong person for that relationship because relationships should be able to survive a Valentine's Day when nothing happens. If it doesn't, you have some serious problems going on. As I mentioned in the, in the relationship-centric Valentine's Day talk a few days ago, Valentine's Day is a reminder that every day is a day to express love, romance, compassion, caring, intimacy, sensuality, intimate connection, all these different qualities of relationship that a lot of people um, forget about until Valentine's Day reminds them like, oh crap, it's Valentine's Day, I need to be loving today. Again, if you're doing that, you may be in the wrong relationship. Or maybe you shouldn't be in a relationship if you can't remember to be loving all the time, not just on Valentine's Day. All right, back to the singles for a second. I'm gonna ping, I'm to ping, I may be ping ponging back and forth, we'll see. So if you are single and 
Valentine's Day is not a day to get upset. It's a day to maybe remember that loving is a good thing to do, but not a thing you should do. Ev not you should think you should do one day out of three sixty-five. Valentine's Day is an interesting. Wait, I mean, I've done promotions on Valentine's Day for my work because being a love and relationship coach, you know, Valentine's Day is my day of the year to promote stuff. I'm not doing that this year because I'm really starting to feel I need to take my energy away from Valentine's Day because, frankly, there's 365 or 366, depending on the year, days in which to express love, be loving, be connected, and be intimate. So to take all that energy and put it onto one day of the year, one, is a lot of pressure for that day. And secondly, you're ignoring all the other days of the year we can express this stuff. So if you're single, my invitation to you, especially if you're looking for a relationship, and if you're looking for love, here's the key. Here's a secret. Here's the biggest thing I can give you. If you want to attract a healthy relationship, you start loving yourself. You build up your own self-love, and you make your relationship with yourself your highest priority. So your self-care, self-support, self-love, self-appreciation, self-attraction is your primary focus. If you put that front and center, ignoring anybody else at the moment, if you're, again, if you're single especially, and you start putting energy into building up your relationship with yourself so it rises the vibration of who you are, your need for somebody else will diminish. And at the same time, it will make you more attractive to that relationship, as I've mentioned before. If you want to have a great Valentine's Day, fall in love with you. Learn to love yourself more than ever. Become more compassionate, caring, and supportive of yourself, because if you do that, your relationship needs will be minimized because you won't need somebody else to make things right for you. You can actually enjoy a relationship from an overflow because you're already filled up. And secondly, again, you'll attract something more worthy of what you want because you'll be in a more deserving place because you love yourself first. Again, that's one of the biggest kept secrets of this relationship stuff. Love yourself first. As a reminder, I will put in the, in the, in the link, in the comments, in the links, I'll put in the comments a link to my self-love practice because that will get you started. If you've not in great, if you haven't a lot of practice of learning how to love yourself from a really caring, loving, tender place, my guided self-love meditation will help you dramatically change that experience. So that's one. Th that's one for the singles. Back to the couples for a minute. Feels like I've got to do one on each side of the column. So for the couples in relationship, two words: don't compete. And I mean this from the point of view that if you're comparing gifts, with each, if you're giving gifts to each other for Valentine's Day, or you're doing showing gestures for each other for Valentine's Day, please don't compare and compete in that arena, saying, well, I've got to give more than the other person does. Unless you're having fun with that. Now, here's the thing. To compete with your partner for the playfulness of saying, okay, they gave me this much, see if I can outdo them, see if I can outdo them, outdo them, outdo them, do that sort of thing to show you're loving. That's awesome, that's fun, that's joyful, that's exuberant. But if you're doing it from a point of view of pressure that if you don't give enough, somehow you're not worthy, that's a trap you don't want to put yourself into. So again, learning how to practice that, and frankly, again, as I said before, this is not required just on Valentine's Day. This could be a daily practice all year long of how can you raise the vibration of expression of love between you and your partner? Who can outdo the other one for the joy of celebration of love and intimacy with each other? Make that your priority. Make that your um, mode of oper your modus operandi, your intention for how you want to be in a relationship. And it will make your relationship an amazing experience for you and for your partner. This could be fun. Oh my God, fun? <laughs> All right, back to the singles one more time. I think, I'm, I think I may have about three for each side, looks like, in this one. So another one for the singles is... Um, if you really want to invest, actually, this is for, this is for both. <laughs> I'll put it together, yeah. This one's for both. I'll put this together. If you want to invest in some Valentine's Day stuff, plan for 2020 by doing it the day after Valentine's Day this year. What I mean literally is if you want to get lots of wonderful hearts and gifts and Valentine's cards and all sorts of other stuff like that and maybe the memorabilia, do it on the 15th, as in the day after Valentine's Day. The reason I say this is because if you're doing stuff on Valentine's Day, you know you're dealing with inflated prices. Everything on Valentine's Day generally becomes more expensive. Roses are generally more expensive than they are other days of the week. Restaurant meals are more expensive on Valentine's Day than other days of the week. So if you choose to invest in certain things, again, because I believe that relationship and romance should be every day of the year, so let's just say it should be Valentine's Day every day, don't restrict yourself to just Valentine's Day. 
because you'll be paying through the nose for things that you don't have to pay for so much for other times. And yes, I'm particularly I'm being frugal on this one, but I'm reminding you that basically you can do things. I mean, how many times have you been to the store the day after Christmas Day and seen all the Christmas lights discounted on sale for next year? Same thing is true on Valentine's Day. So if you want to get decorations and things to make your Valentine's Day amazing for next year, get your um, fill shopping on the day after Valentine's Day because stuff will be cleared out then. Just a suggestion. If you haven't got my point by now, I'm sort of really sort of dis I'm, I'm, um, disengaging the energy from Valentine's Day in different angles. That was kind of my subtle trick going on here, which is basically to remind you again, single or couple, loving, romance, connection, intimacy, or the passion and joy of that is a daily activity 365. Valentine's Day is a highlight, a reminder, a perhaps a good day to check in, but not the only day to check in. To check in on how loving you are, how loving you're being, how much love you're receiving. Yes, check that out on Valentine's Day, as long as you do this the same day every month, 12 times a year at least, because a relationship can't, can't be gauged as a barometer one day a year. That's a, that's a gauge, by the way. So if you're forgetting this and thinking that Valentine's Day is the make or break of your relationship, you may be doing it wrong. And the focus should be, my judgment on this, should be an, a, a, an ongoing daily activity. Not just Valentine's Day, but every day. So with that, I think you got my point. I've been driving it home for so many days now. I've, got, I've been doing replays and I've stuffed from the last few days. If you don't understand my perception on Valentine's Day by now, you haven't been watching. <laughs> so with that, I thank you for watching this one. I hope you've been here and enjoying this broadcast because frankly, Valentine's Day is a good reminder of what's available for you every day of the year. If you're in a relationship now, if you're single, there are reminders about love that you can take into every single day of your life. So with that, I've given you three for the singles, three for the couples. That should give you enough to work with. Um, as a reminder, this is my daily Facebook Live, and I did talk a lot about love and relationships and, um, fate, and Valentine's Day earlier this week. In fact, I recommend you go back and look for the ones on for the singles and for the couples because both of these, um, how do I say this? Both of these talks were really targeted to help you have more love. And if you hadn't got that clear by now, I'm here to help you have more love in your life. So again, I'll put the self-love practice in the comments. You can find that and get started. Um, and the replays will tell you where you can find them. This is my daily Facebook Live at 5 p.m. Pacific time every day of the week of the year, every other week and the year. Um, you can find these on my personal page, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. I also put my replays onto my business page on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby dot author. Thirdly, I put the replays onto my YouTube channel because a lot of people don't go on Facebook, they watch on YouTube. And if you go to my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, you can find me there. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and go to my playlist, which is Messages for the Masculine, and watch all of those there. And finally, I have a podcast on iTunes also called Messages for the Masculine. You can subscribe to that and listen to the audio versions of the early ones of my broadcasts. If you have any questions or comments about this broadcast or about love and relationships, you can reach out to me, put comments below, or message me over social media. Um, again, the link will be in the comments for the self-love practice as a reminder, because if you're not loving yourself, you've got to start, because... If you want a good relationship, you got to start with loving yourself. That's the one relationship that's always going to be yours from birth to death. So why not love yourself more now? So hopefully these talks have helped you survive what's coming up tomorrow. I will do a talk tomorrow, of course. It may be about Valentine's Day since it is that day. We'll see. But I will say thank you for watching and I appreciate you being here. This is my, um, my service, my gift, and my intention to support you in having more love in your life. And if you're not getting as much love as you want, let's talk. With that, thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow, same time, same channel. Take care of yourself, and if I don't see you tomorrow, or if you don't watch me tomorrow, have a wonderful Valentine's Day, and every day. Thanks for being with me. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.